Graham, this is not your motor, but this is your wiring loom. So 3Z, trans loom, put a bit of heat shearing on here because those wires had cracked to pieces. Make sure you've got this sort of airflow meter, this cartridge type here. You'll need to put a temperature sensor in, like that one. Um, I've supplied it and I've put a wire, there's a wire for it, it's just hanging out the side. Drive by wire throttle, um, oil pressure switch, all that you can use all the factory stuff there. These two are for the fan switch. Um, I normally put it in the radiator, but I think your radiator is going to be somewhere else. But if you've got a joiner, you can put it in there. I've done the alternator wiring too, so that's included in this stuff but not the big main power wire. So there's your ECU, so mount that. Don't go tugging on the wires, make sure you pull the plug, not the wires. So there's two connections here, between the engine harness and the fuse harness. There's your fuse box. It's all pretty easy going. There's a pedal assembly. I've made the pedal assembly this long. On it there's also the stop light. Oh, I've marked it. Stop. STP. Stop. I haven't taped it up just in case we need to put other stuff in it. So there's your pedal. Bluetooth adapter to plug into a scanner. Battery power there. Prefer it through a fuse. This is your fan output. I've only put, a, I'll put both fuses in. So fan. Fuel pump output, is that one? It's marked. Fuel, easy. I've got a little box for this, to, for the speedo. So I'll plug that in, I'll get it. So there's your, there's your temp gauge sender and your fan switch. So this is for the speedo. It'll allow the t speedo to uh, be calibrated and actually work. Uh, for the shifter, don't, plug this, don't drop the scan tool on the ground. I've made your wiring loom this long. The power and snow button, you might as well blank them off, they're not being used at all. But it's got this wiggly thing in, which allows you to have the gears properly. So when it powers up and you put your foot on the stop, you'll be able to move it out of park. And then in here there's some switches for drive back to four. So that's your fifth gear, that's fourth gear. And then you can hold it back that second and push it across for first. And I reckon that shifter will work all right on your vehicle. And don't change this lever, but you can change the rod between the two. It's just a pain trying to work out all that other stuff, all that uh, lever action. Okay, to wire it. These are pretty simple, and I, I will give you a quick breakdown of it. Yellow is for the alternator light. Yellow, black is the oil light on the dash. Pink, green is for the speedo. Uh, black, yellow is the taco. Red, orange is for the engine check light on the dash. Yellow, blue is for the water temp sensor. Gray is for the lights. Um, that only does the shifter lights. If it doesn't get connected, don't stress about that. Orange is for the start. I've got a start relay in here. So it won't start in park neutral. I'll only start in park in neutral, so that's all done for you. Um, and then uh, red, white is accessories, and that's for the shifter. And pink is for ignition switch. As you can see, I've joined them together. If you don't want to run that accessory, you can join them together like that, and it will work. So what I do, here's my ignition switch today. I connect my ignition switch on there, and I push the go button here. Get this video through to you. 
See if there's any changes I need to make. If it's all up to standard, I'll write the invoice and get it going. Um, you see I put new injector plugs on, VSV, speed sensors, VVT solenoids. So there's quite a few cam sensor plugs, done all those as well. Oh, and just a note, this lever here, when it starts, make sure it goes down. I, I almost just put a, the, there's a little solenoid under there and they fuck out. I pretty much always put them in. We'll, we'll, we'll see that again. I love hearing it run. Here we go. So watching that lever, I watch. Uh, here we go. Probably couldn't hear me over the engine, but you see how that went down? That's good. Okay. So I'm good to go. And uh, I'll talk to you later. Thanks, mate. Catch you later.